Greetings to all my fellow surgeons and junior residents. Today I am going to show you four characteristics of an efficient surgeon. As you must have read about the thumbnail, what is a surgical strike? Some years ago, one nation performed a huge surgical strike on another nation and that nation has been famous for the move it took back then. There are four qualities of a surgeon that you must inculcate and you must adopt in your career being a being an ophthalmic surgeon especially. These are precision, accuracy, reproducibility and zero wastage of energy. What is precision, accuracy and reproducibility? These three characteristics can be easily shown in the 6.2 minute long video which can not have been possible if I would not have been precise and exact in my moves. As you can see right off the bat in the first 1.5 minutes of the video I have created two clear corneal incisions, the side ports, I have started with the rexes, the rexes is adequately sized, centrally located, I am not using any fancy instruments any haldi poker forceps or any utratas forceps i'm just using a plain cystitome and here you go i have completed my 4.5 millimeters of texas i have completed a biplanar main port just like that going up in the cornea and then tilting my main port parallel to the iris and then entering the anterior chamber just like that i have started the hydro dissection these steps are quick the steps are one after the other they are smart they are exact and they are precise with 100 percent accuracy they are on the same location that i want them to be by now i have just hydro dissected the nucleus i have prolapsed it in the hope that i can perform flip and chop but as soon as i realize the density of the nucleus is a little on the harder side i have just pushed it back into the bag with the OVD, filling the interior chamber with dedicated OVD and readjusting the microscope. My OD assistant has not done a very good job sequestering the lashes as you can see on the right side. But yes, nevertheless, he's a brilliant OD assistant. My OD assistant is one of the best in the world. Going ahead with the phaco probe, aspirating the superficial cortex and just like that in the first two and a two and a half minutes of the surgery going deep down phaco pedal three two chop and just like that i have just made two complete pieces with a strong complete crack in the middle cracking it even further in smaller pieces and for beginner surgeons I just want you to master these steps with 100% accuracy and precision and that can only be possible when you practice in a high volume institute. I would encourage all of you watching these videos who are in their training days to go ahead practice practice and practice. Never forget the thin line between courage and safety you should always make the patient safe there is a very thin line between courage and safety patient selection is very important select a patient that is that is realistic that is easy for you and the one you feel confident about there is no shame in telling your senior that sir i cannot perform this case or please stand by me when I'll be operating the case because that's what I used to do in my residency days just like that we are down to the last nuclear fragment and here you go as I'm confident about the stability of the AC I'm not switching my chopper to dialer and that's it boom the end of the case the last nuclear fragment and that's it once again I would recommend all the newbies the newcomers the new residents who have just starting they start their training to go rewind the video and see 
how precisely I made all the moves. There was no wastage of energy. There was no wastage of moves. There was no second move that I took. All the moves were in one go with minimal instruments. I did not use any fancy instrument. The patient was 6x6 six six for your kind info. So yes, I have done my fair bit of practice and now it's your turn to be a brilliant FACO surgeon. The world is in desperate need of some good ophthalmic surgeons and you can be the next one. Hydro implanting the IUL. I am a strong believer of not putting the IUL under visco because I really don't like those red eyes on post operative day one when the patient winces and cries in pain and vomits the whole night you operate them that's an indirect sign of an elevated IOP for your kind info and that's it IOP spikes are minimal when you hydro implant the IUL that's the end of the case I hope you like my videos thank you so much